The Arctic ice is retreating. Natural disasters are increasing in Asia. Drought is exacerbating conflict in Africa, and the military is scrambling to respond. But a new report says the military isn't doing enough to prepare for climate change. Current and retired military officers say they do not take sides in political debates, but must be ready to react and adapt to changes they see occurring around the world. In Asia, the new agreement to use military bases in the Philippines is allowing the U.S. to build new typhoon-proof buildings to house disaster response gear. The Navy has been studying the new ocean opening up at the North Pole, stepping up cold weather exercises. But the CNA Corporation, a nonprofit research group, says more can be done to prepare the military to adapt to changing conditions. We assess that the projected consequences of climate change events are so enormous that even with a small probability of occurrence, we should take mitigation and adaptation measures now to reduce those consequences. At home, bases in Norfolk, Virginia could be threatened by a changing climate, the report says. In Africa, climate change could be a catalyst fueling ethnic conflicts. With a shrinking budget, the military is going to be hard pressed to fund new initiatives. But retired military officers who have studied the challenges posed by climate change say if new investments aren't made now, the military could be caught flat-footed in years to come. For The Wall Street Journal, I'm Julian Barnes.